our featured plenary session for the afternoon, Doing the Right Thing, Climate Change in the African American Community. We decided to change our schedule just a little bit. Uh, normally, right after lunch, we have a series of workshops. But we thought that this issue, the question of the environment, the change in the climate, and the implications for all the entire world, but particularly the African American community, needed a, a point of focus. And after discussions with uh, the representatives of the panel, we agreed uh, to convene this session. I uh, want to acknowledge first the uh, PSEG Chief Executive Officer and Chairman Ralph Izzo. <laughs> the PSEG is the main sponsor for uh, this 25th anniversary uh, event, and we just are very pleased and thankful uh, for that support and partnership. They've been a partner for a while, but they stepped up uh, this year in a way that they hadn't before. And I wanted to challenge that in the context of the entire event. Now I want to introduce each of the uh, individuals who will be part of our panel. Uh, to my far right, Kenneth Parker, President of Atlantic City Electric. <laughs> Commissioner Lisa Jackson, New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. My mayor, Douglas H. Palmer, Mayor Kenneth. Bring him with me everywhere I go. <laughs> and he is also president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and he'll make some comments about that and his, his observations. You've already met Mr. Ralph Izzo, CEO and chairman of PSE&G. Dr. Nikki Sheets, Thomas Edison College, former <laughs> urban environmental activities, uh, and my good friend and brother, Ted Carrington of the NAACP. <laughs> Chair Environmental Justice uh, Committee uh, and has been sounding the clarion call uh, in the area of environmental justice uh, in our community for many years. I'd now like to turn to Commissioner Jackson to ask her to provide us some context for this discussion. Uh, what is this environmental climate change thing all about? Well, thank you. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me, right? I'll try to speak uh, loudly. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here today, and I'm thrilled to see so many young people uh, out here today, because it tells me that either somebody's making you be here, which is okay, uh, <laughs> but if they're going to make you be here, or if you chose to be here, either way, I hope you learn something from the day's activity. Climate change is just what it sounds like. On its face, we know that the climate of the entire Earth, not just in New Jersey, not just in the United States, the Earth is changing. And in a global context, climate change means a lot more than just what happens in New Jersey. So I want to start globally and let you know that when we look at how the climate is changing, we know that even though carbon dioxide, which is a naturally occurring substance on the earth. Most of the discharges of carbon dioxide are not human made, but what man has done in the last hundred or so years of industrialization has added enough carbon dioxide to the atmosphere that it's causing it to get warmer in some places. Places like Antarctica, places like the North Pole, where we are seeing glaciers melting at an alarming rate. And you might say, as many have for many years, uh, how do I know that's man, and how does that really affect me here in New Jersey, here in the United States? We know it's mankind because numerous scientists, practically every single one of any reputation who have studied the issue, say that the reason the climate is changing, the reason it's getting warmer in some places, is because of CO2 and its man-made emissions of what are called greenhouse gases. Gases that we emit that stay in the atmosphere that cause the sun's rays to basically magnify and reflect off the earth and back down and get it warmer and warmer. So it's a cycle. It gets a little warmer and then there's more gas and that keeps getting warmer and warmer. We know that's happening. 
If you hear people who say it's not happening, I would call that as close to a hoax as anything science can perpetrate on us as consumers and as citizens of the world. The worldwide impacts mean global famine in places like Africa, in places like our home continent. Um, mean that areas that are already arid and dry will get drier. Areas that don't get enough rain will get less rain when they need it. And then some areas will get more rain. I grew up in New Orleans. Flooding in certain areas, hurricanes, certain storms will get stronger and more, uh, uh, will happen more frequently. So this climate change that we're talking about has the potential to totally remake what we know as the way the Earth functions. And so it's serious, it involves each of us, the solutions will involve each of us, um, but more importantly, we can't ignore it anymore.